Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have this look for you. I don't know why my past looks have either been green or brown. I promise I'll get out of that rut. I'm just loving green looks. I mean, I always have. And brown, I mean, you just can't go wrong with a nice neutral brown look. So today I have this really soft eye paired with this green liner. I'm obsessed with the pop of color with liner. I wanna do every color. <laughs> so if you wanna stick around to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. I'm going into the BH Cosmetics Let That Shit Go eyeshadow palette. The first shadow I'm picking up is Blissed Out. I'm starting with my Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm going to apply this shadow through the crease. I love the shade of this brown. It's such a beautiful kind of soft neutral shade. Perfect to just add a little bit of definition through the crease. So I'm just going back and forth and applying that all the way into the inner part of my crease. And then just doing little circular motions to start blending this up and out. Now going in and applying a little bit more. I always start by applying less and then building my way up. It's easier to blend that way and easier to not make any mistakes. I'm just going to take a clean E38 diffuse crease brush by Sigma and just buff out the edges. I love this brush for just really diffusing everything out at the very end. I'm now going into Sage Sick. I'm applying this beautiful shadow all over my lid. And then what I like to do is kind of just swipe down a little bit like at the base of my crease just to apply this in there so it looks nice and seamless. And then just going back into my E25 and blending out the edge of where that shimmer shadow and this crease shadow are going to meet. I'm going into Good Karma. Now in the center, just applying this shadow. It's so pretty. It's going to add a really nice highlight to the look and really catch the light nicely. I'm now picking up over it. With my EO6 Wing Liner Brush by Sigma, I'm going to start by creating the shape of the winged out liner. I'm now going in with my E15 Flat Definer Brush just to fill in this liner and kind of define it a little bit more. I love the green liner paired with this look on my lid. I feel like it really brings out that green reflect and the shadow in the center of my lid. With my E54 Medium Sweeper Brush, I'm going to sweep on Blissed Out and smoke that out on my lower lash line. With my E15 Flat Definer Brush, I'm going to smoke out over it on my lower lash line. And then I'm connecting that to the wing and kind of smoking out the bottom of the wing. I'm going to the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Overdrive. I'm now going to line my upper waterline and then line my lower waterline. I'm now going to apply Mascara and False Lashes, and I'm going into the center lashes of these Ardell Foam Ink Lashes in 859 Unique. And that's the eye look done. Okay, I'm obsessed with the eyes. Now for lips, I'm going to go into a nude. I think this might be just a little bit like of a deeper nude, and hopefully a little bit more cool toned. It like looks different in every lighting that I open it in, so I'm curious to see. It looks super pretty, so I'm curious to see how this is and how it looks on. I feel like it's going to be perfect to complete this look to make it nice and fall. And I'm going to the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Sobe. Sobe. S-O-B-E. I don't know. <laughs> I'll link it down below. And that is it. This is a completed look of my soft green smoky liner. I hope you enjoyed. I love the colored liner. I feel like you could do this with any color and I'm definitely going to like I mentioned in the beginning. I want to do purple. I feel like that would really bring out my hazel eyes and the green in my eyes. I really really want to do that. So if you have any other look suggestions, any color combinations, any palettes you want me to use, any products you want me to use, leave your comments down below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I have two Instagrams now, one for makeup and one for nails. And all the products that I use today along with brushes will be listed down below for you to find everything easier and shop it easier. Always making your life easier for you guys. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload. And I think that should be it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!